Hi, welcome to Movie Theater. Today, I'm gonna recap the 1994 drama thriller film, Scorned. Let's begin. Truman Langley is fast asleep when his wife wakes him up, fearing an intruder. The couple start investigating and find a drugged up girl passed out on the sofa. After being married for a while, Patricia has grown accustomed to her husband's party habits. Elsewhere, Alex Weston enters his kitchen for a coffee and finds his wife Marina already awake, getting ready for her designer job. Their house manager Belle reminds them it's their son Roby's birthday. The busy parents promise to spend time with him later that evening. Roby overhears and Belle congratulates him with a cake and bracelet as a gift. He drives off to school and waits for someone. When a girl is dropped off he asks her over but she politely declines, claiming she's seeing someone else. Rejected. Roby skips school in anger. Truman works at a real estate agency and has been hoping to get the partnership position since one of the partners is retiring. He buys a red Ferrari to impress Patricia who worries it will stretch their finances too thin. Truman dismisses her concerns, promising everything will be fine if he lands Mason Wainwright as a client. His assistant mentions the bosses have been meeting someone called Alex Weston that day. Truman takes Mason home with him where he flirts relentlessly with Patricia until she can't take it anymore. When she complains to Truman he urges her to give in as it'll increase their chances of financial success. Patricia reluctantly agrees even though it makes her skin crawl. Alex finds out his son skipped school so confronts him and takes his car keys. He wants Roby to improve his grades so he can attend an elite summer school which would help get into university easier. Roby is mad at his dad but Alex claims it's business. Alex tries getting close with Marina but she shrugs him off. Being health conscious has lowered her sexual energy lately. The next day Truman is in a bad mood but hopes the partnership will make up for how he treated Patricia. Unfortunately his boss tells him the partnership goes to Alex who is more renowned in the industry plus Truman. We'll have to move down one floor as Alex takes over his office. Not only does he not get promoted but gets demoted too. That night he shares this news with Patricia who gets ready for work on Sunday morning. Which surprises Truman since usually doesn't go into work on Sundays. He enters his office ignoring the cleaning lady before shooting himself in front of her. The news devastates Patricia who visits the office building days later. Here, Patricia discovers Mason is continuing the deal, but with Alex instead. Furious, she recalls having to service Mason the other night and ponders what sacrifice Alex has made to get her husband's job. She also learns the company won't be giving her Truman's life insurance due to the circumstances of his death. Enraged, Patricia starts snooping through Alex's personal items when she goes to collect Truman's belongings. Setting her plan in motion, she visits Mason at his house and shoots him in broad daylight before fleeing. Stalking Alex's residence, she witnesses Roby being picked up by his friends and follows them to school. Here, she pretends to be an interested parent while stealing some school documents. That night, she sends a letter to Roby's parents claiming he needs a tutor if he is going to summer school giving them some preferred tutors but ensuring most are bogus and including her phone number, addressing herself as Amanda. The next day, Patricia gets a call from Marina asking if she can tutor Roby, quickly confirming the offer. Meeting the family that evening, Roby is drawn to Patricia's beauty and wants her as his tutor, suggesting when Patricia mentions her apartment renovations that she stay at the guest house, which the couple agree to. The following day Patricia collects Roby from school wearing provocative clothing, which makes him infatuated with his teacher, whilst befriending Marina who is often tired due to taking Valium. So Patricia begins secretly doping Marina's coffee and wine with Valium in order for her become addicted. Later that night, Roby bounces his ball across the yard so goes to retrieve it, where he catches sight of Patricia pleasuring herself. However he is caught by Belle who scolds him before leaving for the weekend leaving just Patricia and Roby alone as their parents are attending Alex's work meeting. Walking into Roby's room later on, Patricia warns him against peeping again saying if he wants something he should just knock on her door, which he does shortly after she leaves, resulting in an intense lovemaking session until late at night when Roby sneaks back home causing Alex to ground him. The next day Alex is angry with Marina for being heavily drunk at a party and embarrassing him. This leads to Patricia flirting with him until Belle appears putting draws up on windows, giving Patricia an opportunity as Belle becomes distracted by chores. Sneaking into basement where she trips over a wire set by Patricia causing Belle fall downstairs leading to her death. That evening when Roby returns home having passed his math test but failed French, resulting in spanking from Patricia before they make love until interrupted by Marina screaming after finding Belle's bloody body in basement. 
Belle's body is taken away, leaving Marina in a state of extreme distress and blaming herself for Belle's death. Later, Alex enters the pool room and Patricia approaches him to talk about Marina's abuse of Valium and how it is causing her to blame herself for Belle's death. Although it is clear that it was an accident, one thing leads to another and before long Alex admits he has feelings for Patricia. Patricia bends over the pool table, making Alex take her from behind. This entire affair is witnessed by Roby, who later startles Alex in the dark as he takes a beer outside. Roby mentions he will pass his exam and go to summer school, so Alex has to give him the keys. The next day Patricia volunteers to look after Marina and spikes her coffee before giving it to her. She also calls the pharmacy to have the prescription refilled when Marina is overwhelmed with grief and drugs. Patricia then seduces her but their affair is interrupted by Roby who has just returned home. Marina goes to scold him but he talks back at her, causing her to slap him. Roby goes into his room and slams the door. Patricia approaches him and demands he apologize to his mother while also apologizing for what he had witnessed at the pool room, saying that Alex had taken advantage of her. Patricia brings in laundry and claims she found an earring that night. Roby cries in his room as he hears his parents argue while Marina cries out of betrayal and Alex cries since he believes his wife is now an addict. The next morning there is a heated confrontation between Roby and his father which results in Alex pinning him against the wall. That evening Roby goes to see Patricia again where they have another intense lovemaking session as a farewell, before she gives Marina some coffee when she leaves. When she wakes up feeling woozy she deduces that Patricia must have been spiking it. The next day Alex spots Truman's car parked outside which makes him suspicious so he decides to dig through Truman's things, which are still in his office. Finding out about Patricia's identity before asking a receptionist to call the police before going home meanwhile Marina finds her pet birds dead which causes her cry in the shower until she gets out only fine tea on her bed. When she tries fighting with Patricia she quickly overpowers her but luckily Alex arrives before any harm can be done. Whereupon Patricia calls him out on his actions including sleeping with her while confessing to having slept with both his wife and kid. This betrayal causes Alex to smack her in the face. Before following a story down when paramedics arrive they can't find any trace of Patricia left behind that night. Marina exits the bathroom only find same pot of coffee on bed, scared but comforted by Alex. They receive call from Roby who says he's doing fine at school after hanging up movie ends with Roby seen with Patricia in dorm room. Hit the like button if you have enjoyed watching this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.